that's our solution for this reaction we're going to use. I have one gram of tetrabutyl chloride and 50-50 isopropanol and the water. That's 100 milliliter solution. And we're going to use that solution for this experiment. And the burette I have here, the sodium hydroxide, which is standardized at the point all three nine eight molar that's our indicator as it's mentioned in our handout after 10 minutes we're gonna do titration with sodium hydroxide it's been 10 minutes for the reaction I have 10 milliliter of acetone, 10 milliliter of my solution, which is terbutyl chloride in isopropanol water. And indicator I add right now, that's our solution. As you see, it's yellow. And we're gonna start our titration with standardized sodium hydroxide. That's the color and it's 20 seconds constant. It's been 20 minutes now. I'm preparing my second solution. That's my second solution. I have 10 milliliter of reaction mixture, 10 milliliter acetone and three drops of the indicator. And again, at initial as you see it's yellow and now we're gonna do titration with sodium hydroxide each time make sure you're reading what is the number on the burette you're adding color did not change 20 seconds that's the second titration now we're ready for third solution measurement which is after 35 minutes I have 10 milliliter of acetone in my flask and I'm gonna add 10 milliliter of the reaction mixture that's my solution in acetone and three drops of indicator again. Again, the initial it's yellow and then let's start adding sodium hydroxide. Now the color is constant, not disappear. So this is our third. So I have 10 milliliter of acetone in my flask, and I'm gonna add 10 milliliter of reaction mixture and indicator. Initial again, the initial again, it's yellow, and then let's start our titration. All right. 
right, we got the point again. That's the our 50 minute solution. Now we're preparing our 75 minutes of the reaction start that solution with 10 milliliter acetone again with 10 milliliter of reaction mixture. That's our reaction mixture with the 10 milliliter acetone and some indicator. Again, at the initial, it looks like yellow. And let's see what we're gonna get. That's our 75 minutes. Now we're gonna try to figure out after 100 minutes what's gonna happen with sodium hydroxide titration. Our reaction mixture, 10 milliliter acetone and our indicator. And that's the titration. Now I'm preparing my infinity solutions. I have 10 milliliter of solution and I'm adding 10 milliliter of water. And we're gonna wait one hour and we're gonna do again titration to see. So now we're gonna do our first infinity. gonna do titration for infinity Infinity titration. All right, that's the solution after titration for infinity.